Today we're talking about VW, the Volkswagen, one of the biggest automotive brand in the world. This brand is so big, it even owns bigger brand. Bentley, Bugatti, Skoda, Lamborghini, Audi, Porsche. You can think of those big ones, basically. Yeah, some of them we don't even have them in South Africa, like, like your Skoda and Scania. Yeah. So now in this video, we are talking about forecasts that are coming in South Africa in the year 2024. Welcome to another one. If we're being honest, guys, some facelifts are not really necessary. I mean, look at this Mercedes Benz. It looks almost the same to me. Basically, a non-car guy would not even tell the difference unless if they have to study it, you know. And some of them are really much necessary. Look at this Land Rover, uh, the Land Rover Range Rover Evoque yeah that would you can see there's a massive difference and also the um, this one what do you call it the lexus i don't think this was necessary but anyway they happen all the time the worst one which i don't even see why it's there is the golf 7 and 7.5 i mean it's a first lift but the difference is not there man you have to look closely you have to be a petrol head to know the difference you know but anyway all the automotive industries do the first lift so yeah let's go on the video we want to start coming to south africa this year this is the previous model tiguan that still looks good according to me and then this is the new one they say it's not a first lift it's a new one but it is here it is let's take a look at it recently unveiled the tiguan uh what, what do you think about the changes at least they're clearly visible uh the, the interior looks like that of the new uh, facelift golf uh, 8 gti yeah i have a problem with the infotainment display it looks stuck on uh, i think it was okay the way it was before but now nah kind of looks like you're in a truck because it's so huge and then looking at you I, I just don't get it you know yeah and then this is the back seat of the normal tiguan you know if you want leather you have to pay more because but to me like the extras if you want the uh, the leather interior the panoramic sunroof we you know very well you have to pay more because vw's don't play german brands don't play when it comes to paying for extras yeah but this is the first one that is coming in the year 2024 let's move to the next one and moving on to the next one or oh, the second one is the vw t cross this crossover segment from vw i didn't think it was necessary because paul was already doing a great job in the terms of sales it was not necessary for vw to keep such in the market with this kind of cars but anyway it came it's here it stays and then yeah loved it yeah bought it so this is the new one let's check it out one thing i like about vw basically is like all the manufacturers they keep their cars closely related in terms of everything the looks uh the technology the interior is almost the same in all the car ranges i guess that's easy for them and it makes it easy for them for the production cost and stuff like that this one is the vw c cross check out check the uh the new front design i love the light that start from left to right right to left the crossbar light whatever you call it at least the face lift has got it everybody's been wanting it uh from uh, some people some manufacturers they've got it in the front some they've got it in the back uh the face lift t cross has it in the front that makes the car looks a little bit better and much more visible at night yeah even though uh, auto auto automakers made these as part of security features for cars to be clearly visible uh for us the consumers this is a style this is a status baba yeah now this is the side by side view of the pre facelift and the facelift you guys decide which one are you going for does this small and a small and little changes that they made in the facelift makes you wanna trade in your previous car and get a new one or you can still keep your car as long as it's still good still under maintenance plan and warranty and stuff like that it's all up to you but the changes are there at least they are visible but it's up to you if you have to upgrade or not now let's see some other changes in the interior uh, my story is continuing guys all the way from the beginning when they introduced the the facelift golf 8 gti i'm still for the uh, pre-facelift yes it's alive with tech in the interior and stuff like that but i just don't like how they configure it it's giving me old car vibe man i i, I it's just me it's not you it's, it's just me Jay. 
I prefer the previous Kai Centuria. You know, although the tech is advanced and all those things, actually stay tuned for the next video that is coming because I am going to be breaking this into details. Right now, I'm just telling you what is coming, what is not coming, what has changed. But in terms of the technologies, uh, the, the features, performance wise, stuff like that, stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to be doing each review or the review of, of each of all these cars one by one into details. Another one that is coming to South Africa this year, 2024, it's the fully electric ID4. This is basically a T-cross uh, size and shape that does not have to go to Shell Garage or Cecil Garage or whatever, whatever garage that you just plug at home and charge your car overnight. Yeah, it's fully electric. It's it's beautiful, looks sleek and all that. The kind of car that I'll buy for for my daughter. Yeah. I would buy this for my daughter because I know my son wouldn't love this because my son likes brr, brr, he's like me you know this one is ah, no 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 he likes brr, you know what I mean so this is kind of car that I would buy for an elderly person a young person female person for that matter yeah but anybody else who is focused on saving the country and the planet and whatever saving the planet and then going less fuel then they would go for this one but Mina no, I wouldn't go for it. It looks okay. It's good. The interior is fine. It's perfect. Actually, if I have to compare it to the T-Cross, I love the interior of the ID4 because it's minimalistic. It's, it's, it's clean. There's not much going on over there. But eh, that tablet is stuck on like in all the other cars. But otherwise, yeah, that is about uh, ID4. Let's wait until it comes to South Africa for the full review. Now coming on to the last one on my list is the VW Touareg. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm not a fan of VW. Actually basically any VW car. Ne? But the VW Touareg uh I don't have anything against it because I find everything about it well 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 designed, well structured, you know. Even the front grille, the rear grill. I see it as an as an as an, an elderly person who used to be also a petrol head, they would buy a Torek, especially the Torek R line, or Torek R, because it looks so menace, it's huge, it's big, you know what I mean? But it's not the kind of car that I would buy, but I would advise anyone who want the big family car, who's elderly, even if they're not elderly. Now, out of the list of all these cars that are coming in South Africa in the year 2024, this is just one that I'm looking forward for, is the Torek. You know this one guys i'm looking forward for it as soon as it hits the country i'm gonna make sure that i go and beg them so that they can allow me to do a review for you guys because i know as much as i love it you also love this car the Torek man look at the interior man the selling point for me for any car is the interior yes i know the car looks good outside but but the interior where you spend most of your time in sitting in there you know and the Torek has got that interior it has got that thing man so I'm sold when it comes to Torek, okay? So all you, all you guys gotta do is uh, stay tuned, subscribe, because I am going to bring you the review of all these cars when they come to South Africa. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this one. The one that the whole country is looking forward for. The one that has been expected by anyone. The VW Golf 8.5 GTI. I wonder why they use the 0.5 instead of just facelift. Yeah, the facelift is coming. It looks beautiful. Yeah, everybody can agree. Golf EP, like guys, Golf is, is nice. It's beautiful. Okay, but it still has less power than the i3N. Yep, it's still more expensive, more expensive than the i3N. It still have a bunch of extras that you have to pay over 100,000 if you want it to enjoy in full. Otherwise, it's coming and it looks beautiful. When it comes to the Golf 8 or I mean Golf 8 GTI, my only problem or concern is the interior. The infotainment display is sitting like in a way but oh yeah, let's just put it there. It's stuck on to me, so I don't really like that. But otherwise, anything about this car is perfect, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, this is one thing that the whole country hates as well. It does not have the vrpa. You have to pay extra, what, 60k or 80k to get the Akrapovic uh, exhaust system. That is expensive. It doesn't come standard with them, but it's a vrpa. So basically, it's a vrpa that doesn't vrpa. 